Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So today's a very special video and I'm super excited to let you guys know that the season will now be ending early. Alongside that, Overwatch X Fortnite. What a strange world we are living in and so much more. So let's hop directly into it. The first thing is Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 4 Season 1 uh, now ends on March 8th, a few days earlier than anticipated. Log in anytime starting March 2nd for a boost of supercharged XP each day and finish the season and battle pass strong. Holy crap, dude, this is probably one of the first times in years, man. I mean, like literal years. Uh, we are seeing the season end early rather than it being, you know, extended or delayed. So very happy to see that, man. I cannot wait to see this season early. It seems like next season is, strong, is strongly based on heist and stuff of that nature as we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks. And we just got our first taste of that in the recent most wanted update. Uh, with that being said, guys, I just hit 400,000 on Twitter, so thank you guys so much for that. Holy crap, is that an insane milestone. Definitely wasn't expecting when I woke up this morning, but I appreciate you guys so much. And for those who keep unfollowing me to get to get me back to 399,000.99, I hate you guys. Why you gotta do me like that, man? <laughs> like, come on, don't be rats. Uh, but with that being said, though, I am hosting a giveaway uh, for you guys to get two skins of your choice, so good luck in the comments below. Just simply comment giveaway, and I'll pick two of you guys at complete random to of course I'll let you guys actually pick any skin or just simply take the v-buck alternative or money alternative actually because well same thing in other news a new hot fix the price of the new heisted exotics went from 1000 bars to 750 bars and that is a complete solid change i finally got my first chance to play that in today's gameplay and i am super freaking happy with these these are absolutely insane weapons especially uh the red eye that actually has explosive ammo that is insanely cool and a crazy idea it seems a little bit overpowered but hey i am not complaining i've gotten more kills this week than i've ever had in the history of any game i've played so very happy to see that. With that being said, guys, it is that it is time Overwatch X Fortnite could be coming soon. So a person named Overwatch Cavalry, who is, you know, a person that's probably the biggest person in Overwatch's community uh, when it comes to like news and leaks. Uh, he said, did Fortnite trace this wrecking ball spray from Overwatch 2? Uh, today, they added the hamster cabby spray featuring a hamster that looks incredibly similar to Hammond or Hammond, uh, in this pilot spray. Here's our comparison. And yeah, guys, one-to-one -one ratio, this looks absolutely perfect and the exact same. So if I had to guess, I think we are now seeing Overwatch X Fortnite slowly approach us uh, as we progress into the season, and potentially, maybe will be a huge part of Chapter 4 Season 2. And it also might explain why it's dropping early. You know, the season is dropping like three or four days early when usually we would see it extended out like two weeks or something like that. So very curious to see what is going to be happening with this Overwatch collaboration potentially. Now, moving forward, today's video, new refer a friend pack from Valenti. Uh, so yeah, this guy actually made this brand new pack, but this will be a brand new pack. Now, yes, it's in a different language. I don't know, maybe Spanish or something like that, but you guys get the point. It's a new refer a friend pack. You refer a friend, you guys get a free skin set, and that is completely it. So this should be coming out at some point over the next couple of weeks. And with that being said, we also have already got some stuff for Chapter 4 Season 2, man. Already Chapter 4 Season 2, I know. Super early, but... Epic is currently working on a new Doja point of interest for Chapter 4 Season 2. Also note that in 23.40, Epic added a tag for AI, uh, or AIs, for AIs to spawn in what seems to be Bamboo Biome slash area, uh, so we can possibly see that next season as well. So back a few weeks ago, this random bamboo appeared on the Fortnite map, and we really had no clue what this was actually for until today. It was actually put there, and it's kind of a teaser or a little easter egg as far as what's going to be featured in Chapter 4 Season 2, which will be this brandy point of interest uh, that is actually codenamed Dojo. Now, the definition of a dojo is a room or hall in which judo uh, or other martial arts are practiced, which makes perfect sense. Uh, you know, bamboo is a major part of Japan and China and stuff like that, so it makes perfect sense that it would go with, you know, martial arts and where this actually originated. So, very cool. Cannot wait to see this variety point of interest. Now, we also have a theory from Eiko from Wenzo. According to Wenzo, the next part of the Oathbound quest will require you or require us to build a telescope. Their theory is that the telescope could be used for looking at those stars that are visible from the lobby. It could also indicate another TLR attack or something entirely else. Now, this is very, very interesting. Let's look back to the scrap cinematic from the previous live event.
So that was actually scrapped. The original did not feature the mothership. So I think they scrapped it because they weren't really sure if they were, if they were going to move forward with the storyline of bringing back the mothership. But I think they definitely are now. So we could be seeing that return at some point relatively soon, possibly in chapter four, season two. Now let's talk about Creative Mode 2.0. Here's an early look at the upcoming Creative 2.0 portal interface. So yeah, huge, huge leaks in today's video. So it says, looks like you'll be able to actually make your own teams for collaboration. Uh, there's also custom media uploaders. So you guys can upload YouTube videos or your own custom animations and stuff like that. Even Zesty Gino might be featured in an upcoming collaboration thing. I don't know, man. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, next month, Epic Games will attend the Game Developers Conference of 2023, where they will present the programming language verse used in UEFN Plus. They know they will show us how to create games in Fortnite. Maybe this will be our first glance at UEFN, which I 110% think it will definitely be our first glance. I mean, they're legit going to a show or a conference that showcases, you know, upcoming technology uh, revolving around, you know, programmed language or verses. So it's perfect opportunity to see what Epic Games will be presenting. So look forward to that. With that being said, guys, a new gameplay tag was added this update referring to creative mode racing and a map called Whiplash Circuit maybe for an upcoming set of challenges slash mini live event. There's also another tag related to this just called Death Race. Okay, so if this is based off the movie, I would lose my marbles. Looking more into this interesting stuff, it looks like under the codename Del Mar, and it appears they have actual tags related to Del Mar's vehicle, a folder called Del Mar Game, and more. Whatever is being worked on, it seems very interesting. Now, guys, last but not least, an update on LEGO X Fortnite. Update for LEGO-related stuff. All the codenamed Juno test servers are on 26.0. Holy crap. Uh, so it's most likely that is when it will release. It's abnormally far, I know. And I'm pretty sure that's several seasons away. So I don't know. It might be updated uh, sooner than this, but we'll have to wait and see. Last but not least, I save this because I think it is absolutely huge. And it might be for Kang the Conqueror. In the most recent Fortnite update, sound data was added related to a, gil a glider that is a shield, sound library glider, elevate shield, play shield based audio for when shield is animated when glider opens. This update, we also saw an unused Captain America set added to the game, which guys, this could be for the new Ant-Man movie, or it could actually be for like, you know, Loki 2 and stuff like that, where it's going to showcase Kang the Conqueror, he will conquer the freaking Earth, man. But this should be pretty cool. I believe the new Ant-Man movie... I believe the new Ant-Man movie also drops tomorrow, so it could be and it could not be. We'll have to wait and see. But with that being said, guys, that's all the time I have for you guys in today's video. Thank you guys so much for 400,000. Good luck to you guys on today's giveaway, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.